Hi, and welcome back to another episode of our speaker interviews, this time ahead of our signature event, LCU 18, which is in November in Mallorca, Spain. And today I have with me a veteran in terms of LCU things, Mr. Ira Cummins. He was a speaker at LCU 17 already, and we had a great time, so I'm hoping that's why he's coming back. But we'll see, because I have a few questions for him, and this will be a little bit different, because we've done the basic interview with Ivor already for last year, which you can find in the link below this video. Welcome, Ivor. Thanks a lot, Hannah. Great to be here. <laughs> Isn't it always? <laughs> Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> so let's start this party straight away. What was your experience as a speaker at LCU 17? Right, well, it was excellent, of course. Uh, very enjoyable indeed. And uh, there was a really warm crowd was one of the things there I found. Everyone was all real mingly and, you know, all these people would come up to you and chat about stuff without demanding answers, you know. So, and the surroundings, of course. I mean, the hotel was beautiful right in front of the sea there and you could just go outside the door and just walk around the promenade or or around the town or maybe get in the car and go a little further if you wish so that was great as well and it was quiet and off season so i liked that um it meant that the whole event was really dedicated to low carb good food and conversation and it wasn't all bustling with loads of other people stuffed into the hotel holiday makers so it was great i'm so happy to hear that yeah that is actually one of our goals with the especially our the signature events so the ones in november is that it is we have rented the whole hotel so we are alone and we can really immerse ourselves in everything low carb from the you know everything from beginning to end so that is um by choice <laughs> of course <laughs> so what do you think is different with lcu events Right. Well, what's different is, well, part of what we already mentioned, of course, but the other thing was the food is superb and all kind of included. So often the food in low carb events, it's low carb food, but you know, it's hit and miss. Sometimes there's only coffee, sometimes there's little snacks and stuff, but I just thought the food was really, really good and was part of the whole experience, which was excellent. And again, I'd have to say what's different is the environment. So I'm in a lot of conferences in U.S. hotels and, you know, they're fine, but you're kind of in a hotel in the U.S. and there's crowds of other people moving around, whereas this one was kind of dedicated in lovely surroundings and it felt more special and really for low carb people or, or for people who want to learn about low carb, you know, you've really got the people there to talk to. Yeah. No, that's very true. And uh yeah, good points. <laughs> I might be a little biased, but good points. <laughs> so what if you have to choose one thing, what was the best thing about the event that you spoke at? Right, so one thing. Uh, I think the fact that the hotel was fully engaged with the event, so that it was, again, I'm saying the same point, really, but the <laughs> fact that it was dedicated, that the whole hotel was tooled up with food and everything you needed, that that there was a sense you were really there with low carb people and, and that was the occasion. Uh, and there was no, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you another thing actually, there was no kind of productization, you know, there was no selling of products and stalls and commercial feel to it. So it really felt like kind of a, a gathering of like-minded people, a genuine enjoyable gathering rather than, you know, selling your message with stalls everywhere selling their products it felt intimate uh, that was probably the the thing that stood out for me all right yeah your points yeah that that is another point that we are actually or all our events are very much unsponsored so there are no products there are no pushing of things there's nothing like that and last but not least why should your gazillion followers come to lcu 18 <laughs> Well, all three of them. Um, <laughs> you can bring them all over. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, I can bring them. No problem. Uh, yeah. So why? Well, I think one of the other things, the fact that it's intimate is all of the speakers are mingling. It's a relatively small crowd. So for people who are interested, and most are, you can very easily access the speakers in a casual way at dinner, in the bar. We were down the bar for a few hours, a couple of nights. 
you know, everyone's there and you can get to walk up and chat. There's no, there's not a sense like in a big conference where you're trying to get one speaker and ask them a question. It's casual. It, it's, you're, you're just mingling, you're mixing, you're all people. And I think that's one of the things that makes it really different. And people who want to access speakers, talk to them uh, and engage with them, you know, and see their personalities. This is one of the best conferences to do that, you know. So that's that's a big, big difference. Yeah. And who wouldn't want to do that? Well, there you go. I mean, no we're one. all so lovely. You guys especially. <laughs> Well, I would, I would say, don't worry about me, but there's a lot of other really nice people there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Ivor. I know it's precious. So if you would like to join Ivor and all the other fantastic low-carb superstar speakers that are coming to LCU 18 in Mallorca, Spain in November, you should definitely book your ticket right now and you can find more information on our webpage. Great stuff, Hannah.